day. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. As you guys see, we are back outside in the marvelous chateau. I got up early this morning, watered my plants on the front, strolled around the front yard, came out here, decided to bring my coffee. There's a little bit of a nip in the air, so I had the fire table going and uh i'm just thrusting and thriving right now guys <laughs> enjoying life this morning uh, i hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend um however by the time you see this particular video it'll be maybe sunday sunday night so i hope you had a great weekend either way i hope you're doing well um so yeah we're outside just chilling this is the coffee that i'm having this morning this is my pumpkin latte and I it's it's just a vibe right now okay it's just a vibe someone recognized Eric a few days ago in Staples he didn't get your name but thank you so much for saying hello he didn't get all the details he said someone stopped him and said hey does your wife have a YouTube channel so hi whoever you were really appreciate uh all of the support thanks for watching um also be sure to stay tuned to the end until the end of the video some very important announcements uh i'll be sharing both eric and i'll be sharing as it relates to the store so stay tuned for that uh what else what else what else i think that's it for right now um, i want to share with you while we're out here also a few of my current favorites all right just a few the first one being these glasses right here so many of you said that you loved these glasses i want to say it was a couple of you said you already have these um, but quite a few of you wanted to know where I got them from. I will leave the link down in the description box. These are actually from Amazon. What I love about these glasses, uh, one, they are inexpensive, and B, you can put your prescription in these. They pop the lens out, put your prescription in. I love them. A lot of times when you go to your eye group, your wherever you get your glasses from, they'll have nice glasses, but you know, they're not stylish not all the time all right this is the first favorite that i'm really really enjoying right now um the second favorite is my little mini barbecue grill guys i love that grill so much i've cooked on it twice now and i think you guys have been with me every time i have used that particular grill it's sitting right over there um but eric purchased that for me for it was just you know just an accessory to have out here uh, in my little she den she cave and uh, I have been using it ever since actually today we are having dinner out here Chase is going to help me come out and prepare dinner he said he wanted to help we as a family it's been a few weeks since we've actually come out here and um, we saw that it was gonna be a little bit um, cool uh, today so we felt it would be a good time to come out here and just have dinner so we're gonna have burgers not sure what else i'll absolutely be doing that street corn again thank you to everyone who said you uh enjoyed that portion of the video that corn was so good um so and also i want to do s'mores i've never believe it or not had s'mores so i want to do s'mores out here i was going to do the s'mores on my fire table but I don't know. I don't know if I want to have marshmallow and chocolate dripping all over the fire table. So I'll just stick to the grill because that I could just take and hose off. All right. Um, the other item that I have really, really, really been enjoying is this robe. You guys know I purchased this robe right here from Amazon and the pretty vibrant pink and silkiness of it prompted me to head back over to Amazon and purchase this one in this really kind of like ocean green color just really really pretty i love these and so because i love these so much and guys they're so cool to the touch i decided to why not just go and you know why not just go and pick up a few more so i love this one right here in this uh it's like an olive and brown color look at that color oh my gosh so pretty so so very pretty and so what i plan to do with this one is wear it when you know the weather isn't 
too cold here in Atlanta, I'm gonna pair this with maybe a cute little tank underneath, some leggings, throw this on, and just wear it as a kimono. All right, love that, love that. And um, I think this color is going to be really pretty. It's you know, a fall-like color, even though there are some little dots and specks of pinks, but I think it will be a look. And so while there, I said, you know what, why not go ahead and pick up one in this really, really pretty ivory, almost like a winter white color. I feel I'll be able to, again, wear this with a pair of black leggings, a black tank top. Just really cute when the weather, you know, allows me to do so when it's not, you know, too, too cold outside. But just love these. So the links for these will be below. Mm, they're so cool. Um, again, I purchased these from Amazon. Uh, the next thing that I am loving is also in this basket, guys. This candle right here, guys, fire. Okay, I purchased this candle from Home Goods. This is the Red Leaf Home brand of candle, and this particular scent is Black Onyx, guys. I'm not sure about you guys, but I absolutely love a masculine scent, whether it be in perfume or candles or just aromatherapy. I love it. It is just so comforting to me for whatever reason. So I picked this up from Home Goods and it smells amazing. Black Onyx, I can't really give you the notes or really an idea, an identifiable, I don't know, relatable scent, but it smells very manly. So loving this one. And then I picked up one more candle. Um, I actually picked up two of this one right here. This is the pumpkin latte, and it smells just like the name suggests. Pumpkin and coffee. Amazing. Oh gosh, oh, it's mm, pumpkin latte, and I think it smells like some, some chocolate in there too. It's just, oh gosh, it is amazing. It is amazing. This was at uh, Home Goods as well, and the brand is DW Home. Oh gosh, I don't think either candle was over 12 bucks. You, you guys will have to let me know. What is the cutoff price for you as it relates to candles? What's the most that you'll spend on a candle? There are some candles out there, guys, that are like $80 couple of hundred dollars I'm just not gonna spend that money on something that is gonna burn down and leave me with a glass jar I'm just, I, I, I cannot I cannot so let me know leave a comment below let me know what is the most that you guys will spend on a candle what did I say for me I'm thinking 30 bucks that might be pushing it real quick update on the mud broom you guys remember the dilemma of the plant it was too big of a fuss, so I said it's not worth it. <laughs> it's okay to not have a plant here. For those of you who inquire, the plant that was here was actually a faux plant, so that's why you know I was able to put it over here. As you can see, there are no windows here in the mud room. But yeah, I just went ahead and took the plant out. It was just too big of a hassle, just removed it and I'm happy with how it's looking now. <laughs> um, everything else is the same. So yeah, thanks for all your input though. Thanks for everybody who chimed in and uh, gave me suggestions about the plant that I had here. It was a faux fiddly fig plant. Many of you said that I should get a stand and I thought about it. I was actually gonna get one. I saw one that I really liked, but in the end I decided you know, not to go with the plant here at all. Just left it as is. So yeah, just wanted to pop in and give you the update on that. I know I'd ask you guys for help, but then didn't come back and uh, let you know how everything turned out. So that is the that on that.
So for breakfast tomorrow morning, I was thinking about making, no, not cereal, uh, salmon croquettes. I have made salmon croquettes before, maybe twice, and they never turn out. If you have any tips and tricks for making salmon croquettes, please leave your tips and tricks below. I've read some recipes where people will put in breadcrumbs. I've seen recipes where people will put in flour. I've seen recipes where people omit all starches and carbs in the salmon croquettes altogether. But my question is, when you do that, how, how does it stick and hold together? I always put a little flour in mine and for whatever reason, they just come out to be uh, just too thick, too starchy. So leave a comment below, guys. Let me know how you make your salmon croquettes. If you uh, have had salmon croquettes before, if you're old school, you know you have the salmon croquettes with some biscuits, some homemade biscuits, and what is that syrup that's in that? Um, it's real, real dark syrup. I think it has like a red and a white label on it. Some cane syrup, possibly. I think that's what it is. But so, yeah. Uh, we'll probably just have ours with grits and eggs, but please help a girl out. Let me know. How do you uh, make your salmon croquettes? And do you add in onion and celery also? Let me know. What's up, YouTube family? It is time for another week of Pink Package shout outs. It is a beautiful day here in Atlanta. Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. Um, I am feeling very blessed to be able to join you guys for, for another week of Pink Package shout outs. I'm feeling a little stressed though because Atlanta sports teams, particularly the Braves and the Falcons are, are stressing me out. The Braves blew a shot at the World Series. They were, I think, leading the Dodgers three to one and somehow blew that. The Falcons are one in five. I don't know what's going on. Atlanta sports teams have disappointed me year after year. I've kind of given up. I think we only have one major league baseball championship out of all of our teams. I think we have a soccer championship and a major league baseball. No NFL Super Bowls, no NBA championships. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get into these pink package shout outs. I'm having so much fun doing these. Um, the first shout I want to do is to Gloria W. Gloria W, this is her first order. She is out of Alexander, Arkansas. So shout out to you, Gloria. You ordered a Lux shirt. Thank you so much for being a first time customer, Gloria. We really appreciate that out of Arkansas. Don't see a lot of orders out of Arkansas. Maybe we've had one or two. So thank you so much, Gloria, for representing Arkansas. Laverne B, um, you are out of Fort Washington, Maryland. This is your fourth order. Thank you so much, so much. Um, you ordered uh, quite a bit of our unfrumpy, quite a bit of quite a few items from our unfrumpy blessings line. So Laverne ordered the Faith script hoodie. That's a new hoodie that uh, my wife designed. It has the word Faith um, and a T-shirt, um, as well as a hand-to-hand -hand combat T-shirt, which is uh, a T-shirt that that features prayer for prayered up hands and says hand-to-hand -hand combat. So thank you so much, Laverne B, out of Fort Washington, Maryland. We certainly appreciate you placing your fourth order with us. Next one is to Wanda B, uh, Springdale, Maryland. So, yeah, back to back Maryland. Okay, so Maryland is in the house. Wanda B, her king, his queen t-shirt bundle. Thank you so much. 
Wanda, also, this is your third order. We really appreciate that out of Springdale, Maryland. So thank you so much. Shout out to Maryland. Next one is to Nadine E. This is your first order. Thank you so much. Another Faith script hoodie. Um, Nadine E. out of Cambria Heights, New York. Thank you so much, uh, Nadine. Appreciate your first order. Welcome to the family. And I will see you guys on the next Pink Package shout out. Hi, guys, and welcome to another Pink Package shout out. Uh, so I wanted to start this particular pink package shout out. Uh, you guys will have seen um, a pink package shout out from Eric on yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, I felt that I had to stop in here and assist him, if you will, on today's pink package shout out. Guys, um, Eric has been fired. Okay, oh, This will be the last time my severance pay? that you see Eric in a pink package shout out. Don't it believe that. has been brought to my attention. Because she doesn't want to do these shout outs. I, I, she, has, she says, me to run out of errands okay yeah you finish or you done go ahead he it has <laughs> been brought to my attention that eric has been um let's say just misrepresenting the number Fake of news. packages False. that you guys have um you know purchased who prints out the number of orders on on, uh, the, on the envelope you put the little sheet that says how many times they've mm -hmm. ordered if you're giving me incorrect information mm -mm. No. That's on you. That's the computer. Okay. And so, but anyway, You're Eric should have known how many times you guys have shopped with the store. And so he's been fired. Okay. So this will be the last pink package shout out you'll get from him. All right. With that, let's go. What would y'all do without, without me saying blessed and not stressed? How would Nobody you even go? cares. Let's go ahead and hop into today's pink package shout out, guys. Let me just. And I'll tell I'll read them. Yeah, I'll pass. And I'll. <clears throat> Rhonda M. This is Rhonda's Wait first a minute. order. I wasn't even no. finished. Let me just say that uh, we have almost an identical repeat of last week's pink packet shout outs. You guys have just been so, so amazing. And I cannot thank you guys enough Absolutely. for all of the love and support. Okay. Now, with that, Eric, your last pink packet shout out. Go ahead. The first, <laughs> the first person that gave us. <clears throat> I'm getting choked up. I'm getting emotional because uh, if this is my last one, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't either. The first one is Rhonda M. Home Team. First hey, order. Rhonda, your Atlanta, first order. Georgia. Rhonda, order. I want to say Rhonda. I saw you over on YouTube. Did you inquire over on YouTube? Um, how to make a purchase. I think that was you. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but Rhonda, Rhonda M, right here in Atlanta, you said? Yep. Faith Thank over you. fear hoodie. Thank you so much Thank for the so love, much. Rhonda. Really appreciate that first order. Hope it won't be your last. Who Jacqueline. I always like the name Jacqueline. It sounds Jacqueline. like real elegant. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Jacqueline B from Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Hi, Second, Jacqueline. Now, what does that say? Second order. Highlight it. Yes. Okay. She highlighted it. Jacqueline, you racked up, girl. Four shirts, four Lux shirts. Thank you so four much. Four Lux t-shirts. Thank you so New much, Jersey Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Shout Is out to it New Jacqueline? Jersey. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Another first customer. And I like the way she spells her name. It's Erica. E-R-I-K-A. It's not a C? No. All right. And by the way, for those of y'all that are talking about I'm getting the orders wrong, I want you, it's not E-R-I-C. <laughs> It's E R I K. I spell it the right way. Well, okay. y'all put Eric's name in the comment. Y'all just, just butcher it. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. But so, right. yeah, this is Erica C. This is first, her first order. First order. Another Lux. Thank you, Erica. Baltimore. Where's she from? Baltimore. Baltimore, Baltimore Maryland. You want to tell the audience how much Baltimore, you enjoy a good, a good crab cake? Oh, I love crab cakes. Here in Atlanta, um, if you're looking for a really good crab cake, what is it? Aquamarine? What is that? On Peachtree Street, cross the street from Intermezzo? I don't know the name of that. We went there, but I have no idea what the name of it is. I think it's it's either Aqua Marine, Aqua, something what about Atlanta like that. Fish Market? Atlanta Fish Market, their crab cakes are good, Papa but Dose is um, good. Papa Do's crab uh, crab cake. Yeah, they no, sir, I've never had yes. a crab cake, and I can't see Papa Do's having a good crab cake. But, Sorry. So um, shout out to Baltimore; they have the best crab cakes. Okay. Um, Gina B, another first order melanin hoodie. All right. Uh, Newcastle, Delaware. Gina B. Hi, Gina. First Man. order. Thank you Welcome so to much. The family. What did she get? Uh, melanin hoodie. Okay. So that hoodie's probably going to come in handy right now. I can imagine that it's probably a little cool these days there. Another, this is a lot of first order. Priscilla S. Harvey, Louisiana. Three, Hi, Priscilla. Hi. Uh, a luxe shirt. Uh, 
Uh, let, let, let Eric get his tongue and lips working in sync. See Priscilla S's first order out of Harvey, Louisiana. <laughs> that or white, he is not. <laughs> this is actually harder than it looks. It seems easy. Yeah. But when you yeah. do it, it's, it's harder than it looks. It's a lot of first orders. It's the first order too. And Wanda S out of Fontana, California. Faith Ed over fear hoodie. Edwanda. I like that. Edwanda. First order. Welcome first to the First order. Faith over fear hoodie. Thank you so much. And where is she from again? Fontana, California. Hi. Hi. I've never heard of that part of California. Now, I was telling the people, um, I'm learning geography there. I mean, you don't expect to hear of every place, but it's interesting to hear all the little towns mm -hmm. and stuff. You learn a lot about geography. All right. Now, I have heard of Florence, South Carolina, and that is where Melissa H., and this is her first order. That's where she's Another from. Another first order. Faith over fear is hot. She got a faith over fear. And um, again, this is Melissa. Yep, Melissa H. Melissa H. Faith over fear, and she got the Unfrumpy Mommy Code t-shirt. From where? Uh, Florence, South Carolina. Thank you, Melissa. Really appreciate it. I hope you wear that sweatshirt, that hoodie, and wear it well. As Another I melanin. Feel. Melanin and Faith over here, fear are the hot commodities. Black too, the black, black hoodie. Another first order, Sophia G. Sophia, home did team Conyers. Okay, hey Sophia G yeah. from uh, Conyers, Georgia. Yep. Do did you guys all just get together and, and you're like you know what? Come on, let's all get together and go shop with Tan and make this uh, pink packet shout out. You know, look like the one she like had. Like we only last had, week. I think, one or two that was like their. Not their first order. I think almost all of these have been first order. Yeah. Just like on last week, guys, we have a couple of boxes. All right. So who's this first box who went and bought up everything? Who Another first order. How do you buy five things on your first order? Thank you so much, Michelle C., for not only your first order, but again, I think it says a lot to entrust us with two hoodies and three t-shirts on your first order out of White Plains, New York. So Michelle. shout out, Michelle. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's, it says something to shop with, you know, a small business owner, one, and then B, to come in and buy so much stuff that we have to put it in a box. Thank you so much for the trust. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the support. So once again, shout out to Michelle C from White Plains, New York. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Michelle. Really do appreciate that. And guys, we have one more box. Ooh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a lot of manual labor. All right, now, this is the sixth order from Lori S. Lori S., thank you so much. Lori. Out of Fort Worth, Texas, two hoodies, two, no, three hoodies, uh, all melanin. Three melanin hoodies. Lori S. Who are these hoodies for? So apparently are the whole family Christmas is dripped gifts? in medicine. The whole family is dripped in uh, melanin, dripping in melanin. So. Lori S. Who are these hoodies for, my love? Are these Christmas gifts? Are these for your kids? One for you, maybe one for your sister, one for your mom. Let me know who all these melanin sweatshirts are from. Again, that's Lori S. Where is she from, babe? Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you so much for the love. All packages have been dropped off. Again, thank you guys so much for the love. Hope that you enjoy your purchases. With that, guys, today's pink package shout out is going to be the last pink package shout out for a while. Well, not a while, maybe about a week or so. We are closing down so that we can take stock of inventory as we prepare for the upcoming holiday season. Uh, I think we did this once before we were getting ready for, I don't know, what was this? Fall. It was, our it was fall. fall. Yeah. All right. So we're doing the same thing here again for uh, the holiday season. So we're going to close down for maybe about a week or so and uh, work on that. Again, take stock of inventory, see what things we need to re-up on. Also, there will not be a video on next week. I know, I know, no video next week. So how I can am... they follow what you're doing? How are they gonna keep up with you? Uh, well, you guys, if you are following me on Instagram, I will be posting daily over on Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, now is the perfect time to uh, get you an Instagram account or just start following me over on Instagram. I will be posting daily. So honestly, you'll be getting more content over there than you would have been getting over here on YouTube anyway. Um, so yeah, no video 
this is the last video for again about a week or so um follow me over on instagram that way you won't miss anything guys i i, I don't know i have to toot my own horn every now and then you have to go ahead who, who is this individual here see me trying to get over you see me i see you see me trying to get over anyway um yeah if over on Instagram, guys, I have to say, I really have a fun, 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 fun Instagram. I post the cutest little videos, little shorts over there. Uh, this last one, if it's not the last one, it's the one before this one. Um, Eric and Chase were out doing something. And so I went in the bedroom and swiped Chase's guitar <laughs> and made just the cutest little skit with it. And when they got back, I shared it with Chase. And he was like, well, first of all, what are you doing? in my room and mom you are holding it the wrong way anyway so well chase is left-handed let me know in the let us know in the comments <laughs> are you left-handed or do you live with anybody that's left-handed i find it highly annoying left -handed so that's people. a left-handed guitar yeah I that's why i feel that. funny oh, yeah yeah it does feel funny yeah. to hold that's why um <laughs> his golf clubs are left-handed uh -huh. like left-handed i just you gotta feel bad for the yeah. left-handed people this is a right the world is not world. made for left-handed people it is not. This is a right-handed world. You got to feel feel kind of bad for them. Yeah. It's kind of awkward. Also, thank you. Shout out to everybody who made a comment um, about my barber skills. Barbering. Or is it barber skills or barbering skills? My hair cutting skills. Uh, in the last video, I was cutting Eric's hair. So many of you chimed in. I think it was, is it QCD or QD? I'll have your uh, YouTube name right here. But she and her husband, I guess, were having a debate as to whether or not I had gone to cosmetology school or <laughs> barber school. Um, because I guess my skills were just so on point. Now, let me say this for those of you that think, <laughs> oh, she's just the greatest wife in the world, which she is. Oh, but listen, whatever, Eric. I've taken out some weeds in my time. I have. <laughs> Them little black threads that you can shout out. I think there are some hairdressers that use like brown, brown threads. Thread. Yeah, there's a reason. Shout out to that. that to you hairdressers that do that for the boyfriends and husbands that have to take out your significant because it is it's not easy. Do that? Do y'all? I think they probably uh, prefer to be called hair stylists. What did I say? Hairdressers. Hairdressers. That's very old school. That's like saying old school. Like saying pocketbook. Ooh, oh gosh, that, that hurt my ears. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. But yeah, I here's the thing too. I will say Eric is very easygoing as it relates to his hair. I'm happy not look, I've been getting my hair cut at the barber since I was young. I'm happy to not have to spend two, three hours in the barber shop. Yeah. But, but you do a good job, but well, I'll take you. what I can get. At this but, age of my life, I have no desire to sit up in a barbershop for hours. Yeah, he'll just sit down and just whatever. Like, I'll have to literally shove a mirror in his face and almost force him to look at his you do hair. Because he'll just get up and go. Yeah, you do a good job. I don't, I don't do as good as the guys in the barbershop. I will, let's be clear on that. But I do try. And, um, you know, I just picked it up here and there. I started out, oh my gosh, babe, how long have I been cutting you and Chase's hair down? It's been a long time. At least five years. Yeah, so I, I just started out watching YouTube videos. Um, and from there, I just did the best I could. It is amazing. You can learn how to change a car engine on YouTube. Like if you, YouTube's amazing. Don't look at YouTube, to, I mean, look, look for entertainment, mm -hmm. but if you want to learn, if something breaks in your house or you want to learn how to do something, go to YouTube. Go first. to YouTube. Before you call a plumber and an yeah. electrician, now don't hurt yourself. How many plum, like how much <laughs> plumbing stuff, babe, have you taken care of yourself? I fixed. I was in Chase's bathroom one day and I turned the uh, faucet and this will happen in your bathtub and mm -hmm. the faucet just came off and the water was on. <laughs> so I'm like, how do I, but I watched a YouTube video and got it right back on there. Yeah. Um, all kind of videos I've watched on just about everything. So, yeah. And I've got some good ones out there too, some how-tos. Watch some of my how-to videos. Shameless plug. Good Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Check those out. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and run the rest of these errands. Like I said, head over to Instagram. I probably have something new over on Insta Instagram right now as you're watching this video. So finish the video and then head over to Instagram. See what I or Chase, er uh, and, uh, Chase, Eric. Chase Eric and I are doing. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys. What's up, YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. I feel blessed to be able to join you for another Pink Package shout out after I was supposedly fired by my wife. Now, I think we all knew when, when the Unfrumpy Mommy fired me, we knew that wasn't going to last, right? We know that I am the face and the brand 
and the mascot of the pink packet shout out. So it is what it is. I'm back. Um, and, and let's let's get into it. Let's get into these pink packet shout outs. The first one, and you gotta love these cars, like the car just started for no reason. Like these new these newfangled cars where the engine will shut off when it's idling and then start on its own. Um, let me know in the comments. You know, we've had this car for a while now. We did a review on this car and all that. Again, it's got all the latest and greatest features. I'll be honest, we probably use about 10% of all the cool features and modern high-tech self-parking, self-driving stuff this car has. Let me know in the comments, if you've got a newer car that does self-driving, self-parking, will shut the engine off, all that stuff, if you use all the features, especially if you've got like a Tesla, one of those cars, let me know in the comments. But anyway, onto these pink package shout outs. The first one, first time customer. We love these orders. Keisha C. Keisha C, first time order, San Antonio, Texas, melanin hoodie. The melanin hoodie is hot. Like it's hot in these streets with the melanin hoodie. It's very hot, um, hot commodity right now. San Antonio, Texas, thank you so much, Keisha, and welcome to the family. Second pink package shout out. Second order for Donna S. So Donna, welcome back. Thanks for blessing us with a second order from Antioch, Tennessee. Faith script hoodie, the Faith. We have a whole line of Faith hoodies and tees, very popular. Thank you so much, Donna S., for supporting that. Thank you for having faith in these interesting and turbulent times. And last but certainly not least, custom order. Big box here, big custom order. Longtime friend of the Unfrumpy Mommy, um, Ureth B. out of Fairfax, Virginia. Thank you so much, Ureth. Ureth has had several, several order, orders from the store. Um, her as well as her family members, her daughters. Um, if you go to her, our reviews page, you'll actually see her daughters featured prominently on that page. I think they did a TikTok challenge wearing the Unfrumpy Mommy shirt. So yeah, continue to appreciate all the love and support from you guys. And I will see you all on the next Pink Package shout out. All right, guys. So as I stated earlier in the video, <laughs> we have closed the store, but you guys are so amazing. We had some orders to come in at the last minute and I didn't, yeah, a, a lot, lot of orders <laughs> to come in and I didn't want to close out without giving you guys your shout outs. And also I, Eric, I know I said I fired him, but he's yeah. back on a trial basis right now. So um, we're going to see if he can get these last few orders out, get them There's correct. There's a certain skill set. <laughs> I am irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to leave it at that. Anyway, why are we doing this here? Why are well, we here doing this? Outside. You know, it's fun doing these in the car, but I thought we don't have to do these in the car. I can actually do it before I head out and it's mm -hmm. raining and it's ugly today. So, so you just want to do, do it here, here and then the leave here. Of, yeah. And then we'll leave here and I'll go do it. So, All right. So let's go. Who's up first? Angela L out of Toledo, Ohio. Hi, Angela. This is her third order. You sure, Eric? Third order. I am reading, so I, I am reading directly. <laughs> From the computer, uh -huh. because somebody was giving me incorrect information. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say any unfriendly mommy. I mean, no. names. <laughs> she ordered four items: okay. the Faith Script hoodie, the Faith Script T-shirt, a Lux T-shirt, and a Lux hoodie. Thank four you, Angela. Items. So Angela's order will be shipped out in a box. It's over in the mud room, ready to go. Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> Shout out to Ohio. All right, who's up? Florence M. This is her first order. Do we have a story for Florence? Florence. Weren't you, weren't, wasn't, were we not communicating with Florence? Florence emailed us. That's right. Uh -huh. Florence emailed us. And she, <laughs> here's what's funny. Florence emailed us and asked about the newsletter. Uh -huh. And then she has another order. Her, she's got this order and there's another one coming after this. Why so was she, Florence. Hey, Florence. Why yeah. was she asking about the newsletter? She was looking for the uh, discount code. Ah. So, guys, you got to read the newsletter. It's on the uh, Unfrumpy Mommy Store website. Check it out. There's always a monthly discount code. Thank you, Florence, Thank girl. You, Florence. Get in there and get your discount. So this is our first order. In a minute, you're going to hear a second order. But this right. is our first one. What'd she get? A uh, Lux hoodie, two Lux hoodies. No, three Lux hoodies <laughs> and a Lux shirt. So Florence is packaged up over in the mud room. It's in a box. She's out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. So on her first order, first time ordering, three hoodies and a t-shirt. Thank you so much, Florence. Hope you enjoy those orders, Florence. This is definitely not this person's first order because I definitely remember her name. Celia Lee K <laughs> out of North Las Vegas. Shout out to Celia Lee K. Seventh order. I definitely remember. Uh oh. Um, three Lux hoodies. 
No, wow. two Lux hoodies and a Lux t-shirt. All right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Out of North Las Vegas. Love these repeat orders. I remember Cia Lee. See, you're you're better at her name because you say it more than I do with these pink packages. But I remember that name. So thank you so much. Thank you. What's the weather like in Las Vegas, I too? It's wonderful. I, I bet it's nice. You know there. what I think is happening? What? This is why I'm getting the number of orders wrong. I just figured out because I just said that was Florence's first order. Uh huh. Well, here's a second order, but now this one says it's her third. So I think what happens, guys, if you use a different email address, it tracks the order number uh. by email address. So if you switch email addresses, it might say it's your first, second. So yeah, that's so, what's happening. So, so keep I'm those email addresses from you. From all of you that watched, I want an apology right now. And I want, we'll think about I want it. I want to raise. Mm -hmm. I was in fairly. Eric, you're still in your probationary period. Anyway, for this rehires. Is I guess third order. We went from first to third. She ordered another Lux hoodie. And again, she's out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Thank third you. Third so order, Florence. Thank you so much. Let us know how those leaves are doing up there. I was are starting to turn just a little bit here in Atlanta, but let us know what the leaves are looking like up there in North Carolina. The next one. Shantae M. out of Huger, South Carolina. Greeting, Shantae. This is your first order. Ah. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much, Shantae. She ordered a shirt that is very, very appropriate for these times in 2020. The God is my strength t-shirt. Absolutely very need that. Thank you, Shantae. Thank first you, Shantae. Order. Where is she from again? She is from Huger, South Carolina. All right. Huger, South Have Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. And last but certainly not least, this is her first order, mm. I guess. <laughs> She ordered under another email. Mm -hmm. Sharon B. Sharon B. Out of Germantown, Maryland. Sharon B. Kinky T-shirt and a three mask, mask bundle. bundle. Okay. And with us getting in the fall, uh -huh. the whole mask thing is very important. Now. Yeah. So thank you so much. Sharon, yeah. Many places they're right. just necessary. I went into Target today and had to turn around and go back to the Has car and get my mask. I was walking in and, and got to forget. the door and I was like, oh man, I gotta yeah, go forget. back. Yeah. yeah. Let us know in the comments if that happened. I'm sure it's happened to everybody. You forget that people are looking at you, they mm -hmm. run back to the car. Mm -hmm. I didn't even go inside. Target has a big door that says yeah, masks are door. required. But so that's it, babe. That is it. Thank you guys for these last orders. We just could not tip out of here without giving these last shout outs. We are closed. So we will see you guys in about a week or so. Please remember to go over and follow me on Instagram for updates and you know, all the haps that's going on in the interim because there won't be a video this coming week as well. We really thank you guys. We cannot thank you enough for the support and we'll see you guys really soon. Bye guys.